All right, in this video, I'll show you how to record uh, coefficients uh, for the FR filter from MATLAB, how to design them based on different specifications that you might have. So let's quickly work through uh, an example. So here, uh, lots of MATLAB, you can have the online version option as well as you have the option to download them. Uh, so I'm, I'm using the online version right now. Uh, the filter designer uh, is called filter designer. The old, older version of MATLAB it used to be called FDA tools, uh, but here it is. So like I said, this is a graphical version of how you design, design a filter. You get to choose what kind of filter response you're seeking, a low pass, a high pass, a band pass. So right now, low pass filter. So this is where we'll specify the filter uh, frequency characteristics right here. Uh, and we'll ask the filter designer to give us the appropriate coefficient. So you can do that for a high pass filter, in which case you'll see the stop band on move on the left hand side and the pass band move on the right hand side. You can see a band pass filter where the stop band are on the left and the right and the pass band are right in the middle. Uh, let me just illustrate an example of a low pass filter. Let's say we had a, a 44.1 uh, kilohertz uh, sound signal coming in and we wanted to allow everything that is above uh, 4800 uh, hertz up and give a transition band of 6000 hertz and say design filter. So here's our filter uh, characteristics, the magnitude uh, and the frequency curve. We asked the stop band to be at 80 uh, dB. So that's where you see these ripples right around 80 that's a pass band right there and the, that's a transition band. Okay, So now, once you have this, we want to look at what the impulse response is. You can click on that and you can see that these are the impulse response. Those are the filter coefficients of the FIR filter. We want to actually see what the coefficients are. So that's called this one right here. So you can click on this and you can see what the coefficients are. So apparently this, uh, the one that I created was pretty steep. So it, it needed uh, 94 actual coefficient. So order is 93 means the number of coefficient is 94. Uh, let's make it uh, somewhat shallow. So let's allow a much uh, on this particular uh, thing. Let's allow a lot longer transition. Okay, so let me put down 9600 for now here. And I say design filter, you'll notice that the number of filter coefficients required went down, but the quality of the filter got worse uh, as well. So let's just say we got the coefficients. Now what do we do with them? Uh, for our case, we want to bring them out and make them as a header file in C. On the desktop version of MATLAB, you have the option of exporting file export. And you actually have the option to not just export the workspace, but actually export to a, uh, a C header file. Uh, on the online version, that doesn't seem to be the case. So here we'll just uh, export it to an ASCII file, a text file. Uh, and format is decimal perfect we'll say export and it will save this as filter coefficient file fcf in your matlab drive so select matlab drive and call it my coefficients demo i'll call it my coefficient demo uh, save uh, and now if i go to my workspace so that's the folder that was saved right here with these numerators and then we can it's just a text file so we can open up Notepad, just paste them here, and create our own header file as desired. Okay, so that is how you use Filter Designer on uh, MATLAB to actually uh, create uh, filter coefficients. Here now, that was the online version of MATLAB. If you have the desktop version of MATLAB, on my uh, desktop, I have the 2018. Uh, you should be able to download the 2020 with uh, academic licensing for use for schoolwork. Uh, but uh, if this is uh, on the desktop version, uh, I can do filter designer again, uh, launch it the same way. I just wanted to show you the export option, so I won't, uh, I'll just create quickly the same filter that we had created in the online version. So the left hand side window is the online ver version of MATLAB, and here I'm saying 44100. Uh, 4800 is the pass, 9600 is where the stop end starts. I am asking you to design the filter and hopefully it will give you the exact same 
coefficient array. Okay, it's given me the array. Now on the desktop version, so left hand side was a was the online version. On the desktop version, I can do file, export, and under these exports, I have option for. I guess it was an export. It was under targets. Generate C header. So on the online version, there is no target option. Uh, whereas on the desktop version, there's a target option where I can say generate a C header file. And I can, so the coefficients are called B here. Uh, I'll call this num caps. Uh, just etch in, just going by what we've been uh, calling before uh, for class in our last exercise. So the numerator. Uh, these are the coefficients etch in uh, the number of length is num caps so generate uh, and this should generate on my desktop so I'll just do FDA copes it has been generated let me open uh, that generated file uh, from my desktop and here it is it has been generated now if you want to use this with Kyle microvision the only thing you got to do is in Kyle there is no definition of real 64T. So remove this and you can call this uh, int, of oh, not sorry, float uh, 32 underscore T uh, and use it in Kyle. Or you can just copy uh, this portion of it and post, paste it in your C code. Okay, so that's uh, the option available on the desktop version that was to directly upload a header file and that was on the targets on the online version there is no option to at least I don't see the option to directly generate a header file so you just have to do export and uh, what that exports was the coefficient in a text file and you can basically go uh, and uh, create your own header file that way